Hi folks, um, today what we're going to look at is how to find the point of intersection between two linear equations by graphing. And by graphing, what I mean is graphing just on a piece of paper, using graph paper. Um, it's good to learn how to do this, however, um, once you know how to do it, it's also fine to uh, check out this program here called Desmos. It's an online, it's an online graphing calculator, it's free and uh, you can also download it to a smartphone if you want and it's it's amazing I'll admit however uh, we're just gonna do a couple or just we're gonna find the point of intersection actually of just these two right here and we'll call it good just so that you get the idea of how to how to find a point of intersection really the most important thing that you need to know is how to graph a linear equation and uh, in this case it's in slope intercept form which is really handy if you remember past videos, uh, for example, I do have a video on how to graph from uh, slope-intercept form. So if you just watch that, all you're, all you're doing is doing it twice here. Wherever those two lines meet, that's called the point of intersection. So um, let's start here. The first equation has uh, it says y equals negative 2x plus 1. What we're going to do is start at the y-intercept, which is this part right here. That's the y-intercept. Okay and you put a point right there. Then you look at the slope which is the negative 2 and remember negative 2 really means negative 2 over 1. You can always put a 1 underneath a number like that. And so this is the rise and this is the run on the bottom here. So from this point which is the y-intercept we're gonna go not up to but down to and we're going to go across one, so down two and across one. As soon as we have two points, we can graph the line. And I don't really have my ruler set up here, so I'm just going to try and do it by hand for now. Okay. Um, we may have to use more slopes. Let's see. Notice how it went down two and across one, down two and across one. With these kind of questions, it's actually a good idea to keep that slope going. So. Um, you could say down two and across one, or you could say up two and to the left one if you wanted to, just to keep this going. We might need uh, to know this, these exact spots as we go. So let's look at the other line here. The y-intercept is seven, so I'm going to put a spot right here, plot that point, and the slope, well there's nothing in front of the x, so actually that means that the slope is one. It's an invisible one in front of the x. So 1 over 1, and uh, we know that the 1 is the rise, and the run is also 1. So 1 and 1, starting at the 7 here. So that means 1 up and 1 across. And I'm just going to plot this a few times. And we'll keep it going. And bingo, do you see what just happened as I was going along here? I'm going to connect the lines. When I said bingo, I was saying it right at this point right here. I'll try to choose a different... right there. This spot right here in red, that spot right there is our point of intersection, okay? There's the word right there, point of intersection, okay? This is the solution to these two linear equations, okay? The answer is negative 2 and 5. So negative 2 and 5 is our solution to these two linear equations. And there we go. So that's all there is to it. And uh, I think we'll stop there.